And damn, yeah, it doesn't need the AWP to have impact. That's a big round to post, especially considering it's two already from Furia. That's a run of three. Puts them up to five. And it will likely now just have to be a partial investment from FaZe here. So six looking ever more likely right now for Furia. And that fairy tale over there at the Major last time, which is what a stone's throw in the past. It's not that long ago. Uh, they'll be looking to get back into another playoff appearance here. And that is the it's another day at the office. You know I'm not a superstar. Uh, it's, not, it's my team. I like to uh, play with the team. It's about uh, the team game of Counter Strike. I know. I don't know. I'm not. I just play the game. Bizarre, you're so good. Like your setup. Surely you're very particular about how you set up your mouse and your keyboard and no, the monitor. No, I don't care. I don't care. I just sit down. I play as I can. You know. Sometimes I have the res. Sometimes I change a setting. It's, it's not a problem for me. Okay. Well, but Zawa, you know, when you broke onto the scene, you were the best player in the world in back-to-back -back years. W was that because of your team? Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's nice to play with the guys and they make it very easy for me. Uh, okay. And, and so, it's, uh, yeah, I just play the game and they set me up for the, the, for the, the kills. Oh, so you just have to shoot all just, the bad? I, I just do the easy thing. You click on the head and they dead. It's, and they uh, throw the flashes? Yeah, exactly. More. Oh, we. Oui. All right. It's great to hear from Zawa mid-game here. Oh, uh, so cool here. Interviewing Frau. A little bit. Is another Irving death stomach there as two kills fall towards the top side. They brute force their way in and it's all the Danes. Three big kills as Turtle finally will respond. But for how long as Sphinx says no, no, no. And it's just Henny once more. I've already said that three times and we're 10 rounds deep. But yeah, I, I think that the coolest thing right now is the teams who are the best at the moment, like the elite in my mind, is uh, FaZe, Heroic, and G2. And I think that Na'Vi, if MPO continues the level of performance and the smiles that we keep seeing on the faces of Na'Vi are true, uh, then I think they are now back in that conversation. Yeah, brilliant. And the reason for that is, well, I don't think Na'Vi kind of fit the bill of the other three. But it's about having a good default understanding of Counter-Strike, having strong individuals, as Henny is going to get some exit kills, uh, but the round is lost, uh, is to have a very good default understanding with very strong individuals to play with in that. Yeah. But then it's about... Support provided. Frag's still there. Carrigan, another one, but from the top. Oh! Safe! Bro As the process on A begins, but they're still like us towards B. Menio traded. They know where the AWP is. Does that raise the urgency now? Surely they have to go command. Roland gets dropped. There's more to play with, but uh, they've got to clear this out. Just laser focus, tunnel vision, goofy. We'll trade Alexi B though. He's found the key frags, but Hedrick's made it the one versus one. He's dropped the bomb as well. Goofy going for the flank. Hedrick has no idea. He's looking for it now, though, shotgun mode, Ooh. and he finds the quick scope. Hedrick, the spatial awareness, fantastic from him. Really marginal round, but that was a half five from NIP. Yeah, Hedrick having that all ends up having a huge impact. That's why you save it, because you can do things like that with it. Look like Goofy had made the difference, but Hedrick fires back. And then the awareness to catch that flanking player. I thought drop was about to push, drop. Chill, and that's perfect. If there was the potential to jump out and go underpass, they could cut K Serato off. But right now, there's no option for that twist. Flubs the jump, and it wouldn't have mattered. But pushing through the smoke, broke. He tried to make a play. The bomb goes down. This is all on the Canadian. What an incredible T half Yuri are having here. This is their pick, and they're really making it look like it. An 11 T round haul. Unless Twist can voice any further concerns, he's having a look. But a good likelihood the drop's going to be on this close right side. Oh, spots Keserato and drops. Now in the 1v2! Oh! Twist locks it in for FaZe. A little bit of damage control to close that first half. Okay, five in the bank for FaZe. And we'll take a quick one to see if they've got any more as we swap sides. Two. Ooh, fuck, the music here is too good. The music on my channel is the best on all of Twitch. You wanna know why? Because I'm the only one that survived from those days. I'm the only one left from those days on Twitch. Everyone else is gone. They've turned to PG-13, motherfuckers. They've turned to rats, two-faced snakes, virtue signaling pussies. We're all that's left.
in the smoke. Got to be careful with those tracers. He's managed to get them off the bomb at the very least. As Nikodos finds his way upstairs. Awkward though in the one versus two. Jiggling, looking for information. Has he been seen? He has now. No connection made by him. Very difficult situation, but he delivers it as the bomb is planted. Down goes Try as well. Beautiful work from Nikodos. Yeah, really nice work there, rotating in. Not always easy to do that, but lands both shots. And it looks so good for 9Z. I thought they were off to a great start in that round, getting the clean entry onto Mezzi. Felt like the flashes were going to do a lot of work there, but didn't quite end up that way. Fnatic had Roy on the site, who was able to fight back with that important double kill. Kept it close enough that Fnatic were still in the picture, were still in the round. That's Nico Doss getting that first kill, realizing. Heading towards 45 seconds left. And very slow and deliberate from NIP. Trying to deny information, but Hades is having none of that ready for head trick. Much better angle for Hades, much better. Delivers off to Alexi B as well. They are getting shut down, ninjas in pajamas, one by one. So much for Rez to do, so little time to do it. He has the bomb, but I don't see a plant coming anytime soon. All the angles are covered. Popping up. Rez, so many targets, he's found two of them, but he still needs to plant that bomb. 1v2. P solo, but there is the final trade. A noble attempt, but wasn't enough in the end. After a close end to the first half and a close start to the second, nine pull away. And Gambling destroys your PP. It did mine. I'm sorry for your loss, brother. <clears throat> Thank God. Ah. Hedrick found a scout kill elsewhere, and Rez will still deliver. Oh, what phase? How? Distinct lack of resistance as they walk through into Rain's Deagle. Oh, swatted out by the shadow. First shot, don't hit. Rain still manages to make good on something with the pistol. And already the bodies are dropping. Oh, phase. Falling on their face. And Fury out to secure playoffs at home. Soil, Carrigan, the disruptor on the MP9. Some damage and another frag from Carrigan. Time. Eight seconds. Yuri, oh no, they go down. Carrigan extends play. And that's going to get right under Fury's skin. They could taste it. They could smell it. One downside is it was only Carrigan left. Ah, and that is Carrigan right there. That is his biggest player this series so far. His biggest player this series thus far. He's been having a rough go of things as far as the frag bounce on a site. Buster might clear this, though. All right, no excuses here. This has to be yours. Is he really going for the knife kill? What a flex. Try to drag hey, this out. This is a way to get your revenge. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! no! Buster! Why would you do that? The panic spam. The panic. Pex is about to end this whole man's career. Look at it. Look oh. what he's doing to him in the head. Being real careful about it. Three players in pallet then. He's in the right position. Eliminates the lurker. He's in a good spot to deal with this, especially with Goofy coming through. Smoking off the position. They've got the sound cues as well. Now he's got a base test up. He can't get the kill though. Can Goofy? He can't either. Pilar's rotating in there with two. Brolan, one versus two. 26 seconds. He's got to collect the bomb. Trying to find the kills first, and that's what he's looking for. Big headshot from Brolan. 26 HP, and he does the rest as well. Monstrous comeback. Unbelievable run from NIP. They refuse to lose. We're going to the third map. Wait, he's, he's in on August 3rd, 2021. Two Chains announced that his seventh album would be his last trap album. Oh, oh, so he's going to go into country or something. Uh, titled Don't uh, Dope Don't Sell Itself. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of like a philosophical album. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. GT is booking it down long as if his, he's a T. Look at the spread on the radar. So much time for Fnatic. Seems that Roy is heading towards long as well. What does DGT's play? He's gone back towards, they hasn't seen anything. Nikodos at the bottom of bank. And DGT's on the way. 
This is awkward. He's moonwalking with his knife out. Oh, he's just one of the legs. He's going oh. for the knife himself. What a bizarre situation. <laughs> David coming up from B now. He'll hear Naked Oz, but he surely has no idea of information. He knows some players are lurking, catches one on long, and he knows there's at least one here as well. Shot after shot, he delivers. But now Naked Oz has an opportunity. One by the truck. Big catch shot from Naked Oz. Leaves it into a one versus one. Inviting Buddha to make a play. Third bomb plant attempted. Still faking. Buddha towards the truck now. Oh, these shots from Nikodos are nasty. A 3K on the A-bomb site. No reaction from him. One again. Now just wants to get them in. This is a full vitality, like uh, brute force, we'll call it. Bodies in, flashes in, and frags to follow. Just like that, the conversions are through. And rather stylish. But look as well. at the pathing as well, right? The flash is in and they understand exactly the corners they need to clear. I love that. That is perfect. When you have your entry fraggers coming in and complementing each other so nicely and then hitting their shots, that is a work of art. Nothing feels better than being able to scale so far, get the necessary kills, and the round being done off some simple utility, right? And just the understanding of what you need to do. Because at lower levels of Counter Strike, right, you're all going to run in, it's going to be a cluster, everybody's going to be clearing every corner. At top tier Counter Strike, you've spoken through the flight paths, you understand. Exactly what you need to do, and the most important thing you trust your teammates, yeah. right?